your District Governor Tony here with your January newsletter. Firstly, I wish you a very happy new year and may it be an enjoyable and successful one for us all in District 1110. For those of us at Kids Out at Paltons Park last year, you will have been aware that the good weather brought out many more members of the public. Paltons Park is no longer the small family park it was when Kids Out started 25 years ago and although Paltons wish to continue welcoming us, they now feel it necessary to put a cap on our numbers. We know that care regulations make it necessary to increase the ratio of adults to children, in some cases it has to be one to one, along with some Rotarians, so as a result there is a challenge to accommodate the numbers of people going. Whereas in the early years of Kids Out we had almost exclusive use of the park, there are now attractions such as Peppa Pig World which draw in many preschool aged children, even during school term time. The nearly 2,700 who went last year at our package price made a significant impact on the operation of the park for the full fare paying visitors. Portons have thus requested that we restrict the total number to 1,770 from this year, which we negotiated upwards from 1,500. As an alternative attraction, we have negotiated a new deal at Marble Zoo on the same date and basis. The cost of kids out will be the same at £275 for all clubs. The zoo offers an entirely new experience, which some children may prefer. Provided we have at least 1,200 going to Marwell, we will benefit from rangers giving talks about the animals, two free hop-on, hop-off road trains, characters dressed up as animals, a field exclusively for our use to house our marquee in which we shall prepare and serve the packed lunches. From this year, the numbers of children, supervising adults and accompanying Rotarians will have to be accurately predicted and allocated on a first-come, first-served basis to Poulton's Park. We're planning to have more than 3,000 going to both venues and the number allowed at Marwell has no limit. More details, including a form for your schools to choose their preferred venue, will be provided soon by John Baker, who is leading both projects. Thank you, John. The Rotary Ride should take place over the weekend of the 18th and 19th of June, though you can decide to run it on another day if you wish. Please do register your interest and let me know that you have done so, as I shall be collating the information this year and keeping you informed of progress. Many thanks to all the clubs who contributed directly or via our District Treasurer to the Flood Funds. We have so far sent over £9,000. I await a report from Cumbria as to where the funds went and await more information from Yorkshire. I had only two club visits to make in December which enabled me to have a week off nursing a cold. However, I do hope that your Santa collections and celebrations before and during Christmas went well. The RIBI conference is from the 1st to 3rd of April this year in Bournemouth. Please do look at the programme and decide how many are coming from your club and then register. This is the first time for several years that it's been held in our district, so do take this opportunity to attend, especially if you're a first-timer. And our conference in Cardiff, 14th to the 16th of October, has registration already open. If you all book as early as you did for last year's conference, then DGE Chris and Chairman Richard Maunder will be delighted. There were 70 active polio cases this year up to 22nd of December, which is only 21% of last year's. Please do keep fundraising to complete this task. And would all presidents elect register for PEPs on either the 6th or 13th of February? Or please let Sandra Lewis know if there is a problem. This new video has been produced by and at the suggestion of DG and Mike Sanders, to whom I'm very grateful. Any feedback to us would therefore be much appreciated. Thank you for watching and I look forward to talking to you next time.